All right, today I'm gonna show some knives for everyday carry that seem to be very, very good quality for the price. Um, two of them I bought from Blade HQ and one I just bought online. Um, we'll start with the first one that I've picked up. This is a Kalishnikov 74. <clears throat> Auto blade. And it really comes out with some force for sure. And it's very, very sharp. Um, they say $75. I paid $29 for this one on sale. $29.99 or $29.97. So it's like $31, $32 with shipping. Um, very good knife. It's got the uh, clip on it. You can get these in different colors, different blade shapes. But I like this one. Um, <clears throat> Then I got this one for Father's Day. It's the uh, FDE, I think, or OD Green. I think it's FDE with a copper blade. Sorry if I'm too close. I'm trying to make sure you see it well. Um, this is the one I carry every day because it was a Father's Day gift. And because my wife didn't know I bought this one before she bought me that one. So I don't want her to see this one right now. But anyway, it's very good quality. Um, very sharp from the factory. I don't know if I said that already. Um, but I like the color combo. I wish I could actually get myself to Cerakote my gun to match this. And since I'm a big fan of the M&P line, I carry a Shield 2.0. I picked this one up online. It's pretty neat. It's got a safety on it, like a gun. Let me pull it down. pocket clip serrated but I don't think that really does anything it's not even sharp I'm putting a lot of pressure on it it seems okay but what I like about it is not only can you use this but if you just barely touch this secondary flipper it really comes flying out and they're about the same size Overall, this one just seems to be very busy, almost like a Batman design. And I'm not a big fan of the blade. Like I said, I just bought it for the M&P logo. <clears throat> but I did buy this one used off eBay, and it was $20.63 shipped. But it looked like they're about $34 new. But I didn't see anything wrong with it in the pictures, so I thought I would give it a try. Doesn't have a window cracker or the seat belt emergency knife. I think this is just for boxes and rope. Just general, nothing real special. But it seems to be pretty good. Now it is very, very sensitive, which makes me wonder if that's why the safety's for the pocket. But I'll try to do one or two videos a week. I have a few knives and I'll try to <clears throat> show a little. They're all pretty drastically different. A lot of them are fixed blades. I only have a handful, eh, maybe seven of these auto knives. But uh, I'll answer comments and questions unless you're rude. I hear a lot of people talk about rude people, and I'm not going to deal with that. I'm just here to show you some pretty neat stuff on a budget. So rude comments, just keep it to yourself. And uh, if you like knives, then maybe you'll see something you like and I'll help you tell you where I got it. Sorry, that's kind of tongue twisted. But anyway, here they are. First video, hopefully they'll get better in the future. I can only do them when my kids are at school and I have the free time. But anyway, hope you like these. And uh, Everybody take care.